Okay, so today I I will look at um, old people and and looking at how to take on an old character. And here I've drawn the same character twice. Well, they look relatively the same. And um, I've decided to make this one the young one. As you can see, it's already inked. And this one will be my old character. Okay, so um, let me just zoom in to my old character and let's get started on what makes a character look. We're going to go through a little bit of, um, of a process. Sort of imagine going from the top of the head to the bottom. Um, and this is just talking about the face, um, because, you know, hands and stuff like that are a completely different matter. Okay, we're going to start with the forehead first. Um, so, we're just going to add a few lines to indicate age and wrinkles, basically. Because you know very well that over time, they do occur. So, just sort of, not, not too many, I don't, I don't even know if... If I need two, I might even just need one. And basically, I just drew like a line that sort of goes up in the middle and then down again, and then did the same for the top one. It's just I kind of lifted the pencil a little bit in the middle so it's not quite as prominent because remember, they have to be really faint and really, uh, really delicate on the face, okay? So that's the forehead. Then we move on to the eyebrows. I've noticed that a lot of uh, anime characters, and I've looked at anime more than manga for this, have eyebrows um, a little more shaped, so sort of almost doubled um, than what a sort of a young character would have. Uh, that's why I left them even over, over the hair there. Uh, so basically just draw, contour the eyebrow all together, and that will immediately add age to the person um, that you're drawing. Um, and we do the same on this side. So just make them slightly thicker. Um, because when they're young, they have sort of a more... Just, just a line will do for the eyebrows. But for all the, all the characters, it doesn't quite work as well. Right, so that's the eyebrows. See, easy peasy. We're just flying through stages here. Alright, uh, the next stage is the face shape. Most of the time, um, obviously it always depends on how old you want your character to, to look. I'm going for about 70, I don't know, late 60s, that kind of age. Um, so, in order to do that, I have to change the contour of the shape slightly. Um, as I said before, this doesn't always have to be done. Sometimes it looks fine uh, if you just leave it like that. But here, I'm going for an older look. So we're going to bring her her cheekbone a little more in there. That's why I've, I've tried to sort of draw the face very lightly so that I can erase it. Um, and trust me, if you draw the character first and then draw all these lines on top of it and erase and stuff like that, it will look a lot better because you'll know what your character's final, um, final outcome should look like. Uh, so you're not playing around with tons of lines and costly erasing them a million times over. Right, so I brought the cheekbone in slightly as you can see there. And now I'm gonna try and make some sort of um, the sort of flabby bits that um, old women and, and men tend to have. I'm just gonna go straight to the chin for a bit so I can know where it is. Just gonna draw it in here. Uh, it's still the same, just maybe slightly lower and uh, sort of bring the line up into the face if you can uh, and that way it will show that sort of there's different sides and almost like a double chin but not really it's still sort of it's still part of the face rather than the rather than the neck and then we go into these two bits here and we make the skin drag on a little bit okay so let me erase that bit so see, this line has come up there, and then we make this bit just drag on slightly, okay? So at first it may look very odd, but draw it first, don't get freaked out by how weird it looks. Um, we can fix those problems later. And do the same on the side, right up to the neck, and then out a little bit and in. And you can still see the, the outline of where the neck was supposed to be. And this helps me because um, it helps me not to go too much into the face or too out 
if uh, if you know what I mean. Which um, it's almost like a guideline to be honest. And now I can sort of tell that she's definitely gaining a lot of years, but her chin's being a little bit too draggy almost. So I'm gonna try to fix that a little bit. Okay, so that's the face. So we can see that I've contoured a lot of the facial features that um, one gets when you know with age. The things drag down, like the chin and the sides of the chin, and uh, the cheekbone sort of pops out a little bit more, if that makes sense. Uh, but you have to remember, this is one style of art. In some manga characters, you literally just draw the face like this, and then put like a double chin <laughs> at the bottom, and you're done. So it all depends on what you're going for. I'm going for the skinny old look here. Okay, so we've contoured the face, I believe. We could even make the neck a little bit more stubby then. Than it was before. Right, we've contoured the face and now we move on to the next stage which is the neck. The neck is um, stays pretty much the same I believe. As I said you can make it slightly more kind of outward just under the chin and then we're just going to add sort of implying almost I was going to say an Adam's apple but you know I mean, obviously you don't have that. If, if you're drawing a male character, definitely do that. Um, but just sort of do this kind of curved line that, that goes down. And then on the other side as well. And I think the key thing here, on a, on a younger character, you just draw one line and that's plenty. But on, on an older one, draw at least three or four. Just to imply the wrinkles that drag down on the neck. Um, and if you need help with like knowing where the lines are and stuff, you can look at pictures or, you know, if, uh, I don't know, go to your grandmother, study them. You know, I, I looked at, I studied old people for a while um, at school and I looked at eyes and, and the skin and how it changes over time and stuff like that. And it really does help to, to sort of tell you where each line should be and things like that. So uh, I definitely recommend that. Right, so... But I'm just sort of playing around with the uh, with the neck here. It might even sort of be too much, as you can see. And that brings me to my very important tip that um, I wanted to mention in this video. The problem and the mistake that a lot of people go through, especially with older people, when they have to add extra lines. The issue is that everyone thinks that they've um, that they've added that they've not added enough lines. So they add more, and they add more, and they add more. And they don't realize that the problem isn't that you don't have enough lines, is that you probably have too many. So as you can see on the neck there, she's looking old. But if I added one more line, let's say, I don't know, here or something, it starts to look odd already. You can start, it looks like she's got muscle more than wrinkles. So you can see that one simple line can make a huge difference. So always remember that. Don't be afraid to have very few lines because sometimes that's all that a character needs. Okay, and this is my last stage. And the last stage of the drawing is the wrinkles. This is your favorite part. Um, the wrinkles and contouring the face around to show where it's aged and how it's different, okay? This is how I start. I go I go in with the eyes and just make the eyelids a little more prominent. And I'm sure that, that you don't need too much help with that. Just draw a little line above the eyes. This is just to make it a little more um, 3D, as they say. Then I go under the eyes and be very careful here because um, you need to make sure that you put the lines in the right place. For example, to make the eyes old, make sure that the line is slightly curved and pointing downwards. If you make the line too close to the eye and possibly not pointing downwards as much, she's going to look tired more than old. So this is the tricky part. Just make sure it's sort of almost like a the side of a ball kind of thing. Imagine you're drawing a ball. Just take a bit out of that and put it there. Just sort of curved and pointing downwards. And if you want, you can even draw it on the other side as well to imply the eye bags. 
there we go right and uh, that's added a lot of age to the eyes you can already tell and another thing you can add little tiny wrinkles to the sides of the eyes I wouldn't suggest doing more than three lines because um, more than three would just uh, it just again like my tip says too many lines just makes it look distorted and just wrong so stick stick with three maybe even two if you can okay then we go down to the nose and the mouth almost and as you see in this character I've made the cheekbones very prominent so I'm gonna help it along with two li two curved lines going upwards to sort of imply that they're there <laughs> obviously and one on the other side sort of imagine where they'd be right and now we're going to contour the, the uh, mouth as well by bringing from these um, uh, cheekbone lines, you don't have to add them in, you can if you like, um, you just draw sort of two lines, just almost like brackets, running down the mouth up to um, just before the chin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest them touching. Um, and you do the same on the other side. It's slightly smaller because she's turning away slightly. <clears throat> okay, we're almost done. One little touch that I like to add from time to time, especially if the character is um, skinny, like I mentioned I was trying to portray here, is adding a bit um, of a line here, suggesting the cheekbone again. It's just the hair is getting in the way. Me... Okay. So again, if your character is a little more chubby, then I wouldn't. Su oh, I'd suggest um, skipping this part. Just draw one line curving inwards like so and then end that by dragging it down not even need that line to be honest because uh, it seems like it's adding a bit too much drama to the face and I don't, I don't want that much to it if you find that one line doesn't work delete it or um, maybe just you know make it smaller make it um, less less strong on the face um, which can definitely help so, so yeah, that's pretty much the way of making one character sing all. So yeah, I'm just gonna end. To anyone walking down a hard road, worn out with blisters on your feet. To anyone with a heart that's shattered, doing your best to hold it together. With no prayer to pray and no song left to sing Whatever pain you're dealing with Let me offer this Come however you are Come with all your heartbreaks Come with all the mistakes you've made Lay them down at the cross And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I really hope that helped. Uh, thank you again for the support. Keep those suggestions coming and follow me on Twitter, Dave and Art and everything, all in the sidebar. See you guys in the next video. Bye.